Hawaii no ka'oi, meaning there's no place like Hawaii. The Aloha Tower is Hawaii's beacon of welcome to the world. Welcome to Honolulu, capital of the state of Hawaii, economic and tourist center of the Pacific. Iolani Palace. This was once the residence of royalty. And just across the street, in front of the Judiciary Building, stands the gilded statue of King Kamehameha, conqueror of the islands. Here he is draped in flower lays on his day, Kamehameha Day. Hawaii is the Pacific, a tropical wonderland of almost constant climate and an unhurried way of living. Main thoroughfare of the Waikiki District is Kalakaua Avenue, with its attractive shops and centers of activities for the visitor. And here is fabulous Waikiki Beach, with Diamond Head as a background, holiday magnet for pilgrims of pleasure from all over the world. Sun, sand, surf, and ukuleles. All are part of Waikiki, especially if you're young or young at heart. As for water sports, you'll find them all at Waikiki. The twin hulled catamaran. And there's real excitement in an outrigger canoe ride, racing in with the long rollers. And of course, surfing. Hawaiians and visiting buffs participate in this thrilling sport. When you mention the word surfing, you are really saying Hawaii. Just a few miles beyond Diamond Head is the famous blowhole. When wind and tide are in proper rhythm, they combine to force a water spout, sometimes reaching 60 feet into the air. There's always a big show at Sea Life Park. Performing porpoises. And of course, pretty Hawaiian girls join them. This is a highlight for the visitor. And here, a huge mammal jumping on command for a handful of fish. Nu'uano Pali, where King Kamehameha won the final battle of his conquest of the islands, forcing the defenders over the cliff to their deaths below. For even the short-time visitor, a trip to the Hawaiian Islands should mean just that. It's only about 20 minutes from Honolulu to the Garden Isle of Kauai, often referred to as the most beautiful of all the islands certainly one of the most rugged. This is the home of the legendary Menahunis. And for good measure, the scenic climax of the island, Waimea Canyon, Grand Canyon of the Pacific. Spectacular patterns created by its ever-changing colors. Our island hopping has brought us to the Valley Isle, second largest of the Hawaiian group, the island of Maui. This is Lahaina, once the capital of Hawaii and wintering port for whaling ships of the Pacific before the turn of the century. Today, Lahaina retains its quiet charm. And if you're a golfer, this is Mecca, with several of the best courses in the Pacific to be found here. We've climbed 10,000 feet by car to see the world's largest dormant volcano, Haleakala, big and deep enough to hold most of the island of Manhattan. Next stop, Hilo, on the island of Hawaii. The big island is also known as the Orchid Isle, and Hilo is without doubt the orchid capital of the world. A phenomenon of nature, the black sands of Kalapana. On the other side of the big island is the Kona coast, quiet, 
comfortable, a great attraction for the visitor. The town is Kailua, once the home of Kamehameha the Great during the last years of his reign. A special treat is a boat trip. There is no other way to get there, to the spot where it is said the natives killed Captain Cook. Captain James Cook was the English explorer who discovered the Hawaiian Islands in 1778. This monument to his memory was erected by the Australian government. We're now on our way to Volcano House, a unique hotel on the very rim of Kilauea's crater. Inside the crater is an enormous pit known as Halimaumau, which is Kilauea's most active vent. In the 150 years during which this volcano has been under observation, Halimaumau has often contained a boiling lake of lava, which sometimes erupts in a fiery display. return to Honolulu to enjoy the Aloha Week Parade, one of Hawaii's annual festive occasions. This is a time when the holiday spirit of the islands really prevails. Along with any real Hawaiian celebration, there is the preparation of the emu, the cooking of the pig, as part of the traditional feast or luau. What more appropriate form of entertainment than a Hawaiian hula? Here, the hula is performed on its native soil by the people whose ancestors created this lovely dance. This is the Hawaiian way of conveying, by the graceful manipulation of limbs and hands, their message of welcome, or in this instance, farewell to the wonderful islands of Hawaii. In Hawaiian, they say, aloha. Aloha and return again soon.